So just really quick, I wanted to show you um, one, adding more profile sections. So like we covered, you can add featured where you can put your resume, you can put your online portfolio if you have one. You can also add licenses and certifications. So if you've done any like PMPs or other types of certifications, absolutely list it. The other you can do is if you go to recommended, you can do courses or projects. That's excellent if you're taking like a Udemy course or one of those online, like Harvard online school kind of classes, just to say like, oh, I'm working on SQL, I'm working on Python, put that in here as well. That's a great place for it to pop up and that way other people can find it and just show that you're actively working on it. Even if you just started it, put it on here. Um, so that's one thing to keep in mind. And um, you also can add projects. So if there's something specific you did either on your own in a consulting gig, collaboration with someone, you also can list that out and the skills and media. Ooh, benefits of content creator mode versus traditional profile. That is a really good question. I think it depends on if you're planning to use it as more like posting regularly and having more channels for getting your posts seen versus having your profile seen. So there's a lot of people that use LinkedIn now almost kind of like an influencer format, um, especially recently. I've seen it the past like eight months be very influencer heavy. Like I have a friend named Trish that I think absolutely uses content mode. She has like over 12,000 followers and she calls herself your marketing big sister. And she has a ton of content that she posts. So for her, it would make sense to have a content creator mode. Like if you plan to post a lot, share original content, write articles. If not, then I think traditional makes a little more sense just because you're actively job searching, you're networking, you want people to go back to your profile. So it kind of depends on what your main purpose is for it. But if you do think that you would like to post more, then I would consider content creator mode um, kind of between the two. I usually work within traditional profiles. So that's the one I'm most familiar with. But people like this, it makes sense for her to have like a creator mode profile. So that is an excellent question. Perfect. Okay. It's going back. Okay. Going back to the profile. So you can see those different sections. Um, you can see media posted within these, and then you can see these skills listed. So um, when you're going to your skills section on the bottom here, so you can click pencil, and then here's where you can edit anything. And you can also see where I've worked on those specific things. So I've listed like where it's put, if I have any endorsements. So let's say um, one, let's say I want to add e-learning or add business to business at more. If you click on the skill, then you can list everywhere you've done that skill. And that can include jobs as well as education, licenses, certification, projects, honors and awards, organizations. So you can um, specifically add it to other jobs as needed.